Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be evaluating an infinite sum or an infinite series. We have 1 over 5 plus 2 over 25 plus 3 over 125 plus 4 over 625, so on and so forth. So the numerators are consecutive positive integers and the denominators are powers of 5. So in other words, you kind of have a sum like n divided by 5 to the power n as n runs 1 through infinity. Make sense? That's the sum we're basically looking at. But of course, this is an infinite sum, so we have to make sure it converges, so on and so forth. But let me tell you something. This sum converges, and it's actually similar to what we call a geometric sequence. So let's briefly, I mean series and sequences, of course. You know the difference? Sequence is like uh, the terms and the series is kind of like the sum. Anyways, that's a, such a non-rigorous, horrible definition, but forgive me for that. Anyways, so geometric series is basically made up of terms like this. A as being the first term, and then multiply by R, it's going to give you the next term, and then multiply by R again, and then multiply by R, and keep doing this forever. And of course, R needs to be between negative 1 and 1. In that case, this converges, and it converges to A over 1 minus R, right? This is the sum of a geometric series if it does converge. So a good example would be 1 plus 1 half plus 1 fourth plus 1 eighth, and then dot, dot, dot. And obviously in this case, the first term is 1, and the common difference, which is the difference between the two consecutive terms, is 1 half, and it's going to give you a 2. So if you add powers of 1, including 1, you get 2. If you don't include 1, then you get 1. Make sense? You could also model this using a square, and then cut that in half, cut that in half, and it's just going to fit into a 1 by 1 square. Anyways, there's a lot of proofs of this, so I'm not going to spend too much time on it, but we got to focus on our sum. So our sum is different because it's not like this. You know, 1 plus 1 over 5 plus 1 over 25 plus 1 over 125, because in this case, the numerator is always 1, and there's always a common... Did I say difference? I'm sorry. I should say common... No, wait a minute. Common quotient? Anyways, I forgot. Common ratio, yes, here we go. R is for common ratio. So R is the common ratio. In other words, if you divide the two consecutive terms, of course, you have to use the second one like the, by the first, so on and so forth, that's going to give you the common ratio. So this can be evaluated easily. But our sum is different because it kind of starts off with 1 over 5, but then it doesn't go into 1 over 25, it goes into 2 over 25, and then 3 over 125. So the numerator increases. Here's what we can do. Let's go ahead and call this sum S. Assume that it converges. Hopefully it does, right? And then multiply it by something. And that's going to be 1 over 5 because we're dealing with powers of 5 at the bottom. If you multiply this by 1 over 5, you're going to get 1 over 25 plus 2 over 125 and then plus 3 over 625 and so on and so forth. You know what, I'd like to move this a little bit to the right, so let's go ahead and line up these terms, sort of, and we can do the following. Obviously, this is 1 over 5s, because I multiply the whole thing by 1 fifth. Make sense? And of course, nothing underneath the 1 over 5, because there's no 1 in the original uh, series. Anyways, so here's what we're going to do. Notice that these are kind of like terms, and these are kind of like terms. And the difference between their numerators is 1. So we're going to go ahead and subtract. Yes, that's the thing. 1 over 5 is just going to be 1 over 5 minus 0. When you subtract 2 over 25 minus 1 over 25, that's going to be 1 over 25. And then you're going to get 1 over 125, and then 1 over 625, so on and so forth. And on the right-hand side, 1 minus 1 fifth is going to be 4 over 5 multiplied by s. Great. Now, the expression on the left-hand side, we do know how to add because it's an infinite geometric series. And the formula is a1, which is the first term, or just a, divided by 
1 minus r, which is 1 fifth again. So this is kind of like 1 fifth divided by 4 fifths, which is 1 fourth, which is equal to 4s over 5. And from here, s becomes 5 over 16, which means our original sum, 1 over 5 plus 2 over 25 plus 3 over 125 converges to 5 over 16. And this brings us to the end of this video. I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.